Can you hear me? Good. I managed to get through. I don't have much time, so I will be quick. If you are listening to this, then you must be confused. You are probably thinking, is this really a creepypasta? Or just some random chick talking? As much as I would love to elaborate this situation, my lack of time does not permit me to do so. So please, be quiet and hear me out. You all must think this is innocent, watching videos like these. Videos in where someone reads a story known as a creepypasta. Creepypastas can be about anything. Whether it's encountering a freakishly tall man with no face wearing a suit. Being hunted by a serial killer who arbors a knife fetish. Or even something as simple as a hacked video game that summons unholy spirits. These stories are meant to make people think. To make them entertained. To make them afraid. Now, narrators are people who offer up their voices for the sake of bringing these supposed retellings to those who are too lazy to read normally. Often choosing to go by clever name, such as Mr. Creepy Pasta, the Creepy Messenger, Creepy Baby Pasta, or even original pseudonyms like Remnant Jet or I'm the Evil Black Bunny. These individuals deliver this form of macabre entertainment to people like you at the expense of their time, energy, and something that you'd perhaps did not consider or did not even care for. Do you think it's safe reading so many stories about unknown beings and demons? Do you honestly think there is no risk in narrating evil acts or recanting forbidden words? Do you really assume that after a narrator reads a creepypasta that they just walk away from it right after submission? There are certain consequences that may occur to those narrators who are not careful. To those who are vulnerable. The evidence is the fact that you do not recognize me. I will not even bother with my name. The instant I say it, I can guarantee something will happen to the video. You know what? The heck with it. Maybe. <clears throat> On YouTube, I was known as Paranormal Mango. I was a fairly popular creepypasta narrator and had uploaded a multitude of different stories to the site. At first, everything went well. I got a decent amount of views on each video that I made and received an array of positive feedback. However, every time I narrated, I would put myself in the victim's place in attempt to fully portray their dilemma to my subscribers. Whenever I did so, I began to notice the stories that I ended up choosing were turning out to relate more and more to me personally, as if they could have actually taken place at my home. Unlike the hapless victims in creepypastas, I knew exactly what was going on. After reading so many paranormal stories, Situations like that did not spark panic in me anymore. I knew that as I continued to narrate the way I did, more 
and more. The danger of invoking a consequence would increase in a similar fashion. Yet, at the time, that same knowledge made me ignorant, prideful even. It made me falsely believe that if a consequence did arise, that I would be prepared to handle it properly. This idiotic sentiment was what doomed me in the end. <laughs> I just realized that I have not explained what a consequence actually is here. Here I am, ranting, wasting time, wasting sanity, over retelling my past. I'm sorry, I will get to the point now. What is a consequence, you ask? Well, they say if you believe in something long enough, it eventually becomes true. <laughs> I think my time is up. They're here, waiting for me. It's funny. I'm not scared anymore. They're like old friends. Old friends who want to take me away from the world. Memory and all. Such benevolent friends. To you, the listener, I must implore something of you. Something simple, but important. The next time you listen to a narrator read a story, be grateful. You do not know of what they are risking to warn you of the various unnatural dangers that plague our world. They and those who originally write down their stories are the unsung heroes of our time. Now, if you would excuse me, I must go. If they take me, you will remain safe from them. If not for a short while. Just remember, be grateful.